que je vais expliquer maintenant, c'est ce qu'on de des populations d'êtres vivants dans les villes où se trouve la biodiversité. Elles se trouvent essentiellement dans les espaces verts, les dans les parcs, les jardins, les bords de parcs, gardens, mais on peut les trouver dans les possibly aussi dans quelques espaces à la bottom of the street trees, on the bottom of walls, or on communication ways, such as railroads where very invasive species can be present. The functioning of a population depends on a number of factors. Uh, the plants will grow when there are many plants being uh, Lorsque la mortalité generated, it decreases when other populations locales, invade the area, and there is a decrease when mortality is high and some individuals migrate to different populations. La survie des populations, elle est Survival of populations is uh, conditioned by the presence of available habitats for the species, the availability of uh, nutrients, the uh, numerous offspring produced, and also possibly uh, immigration coming from peripheral areas. Here we have, uh, we have uh, for instance, uh, mustard plants that have uh, arrived uh, with the earth that was brought here and in the form of seed, and they started growing and they invade, invaded the town. Genetic characteristics of populations also have an incidence on the functioning. When the population is small, limited, and isolated, they tend to be poor genetically and the individuals will inbreed and this will lead to uh, inbreed related uh, depression inbreeding related depression except for some species that disperse very far away because they will send seeds uh, in the air across town and uh, animals will also move uh, in spite of uh, the presence of buildings roads and bridges Biotic interactions, i.e. relationship between man and other species, are very intense in town. There may be eradication campaigns, there is competition between man and the other species. Man uses a lot of uh, space and area in competition with the other species uh, for room. And there is also the problem of food. Some species find uh, food in dustbins, uh, waste, uh, or are being fed by people. And this will influence the type of uh, species that will survive in town. There are interactions between all the other species outside of man, and these interactions are not always uh, very well regulated because they don't happen so frequently in town versus uh, in the countryside. But there might be a risk of outbreak or a problem of reproduction uh, in breeding when the animals are not, uh, when the species are not. Uh, numerous enough. There is a program uh, regarding plants at the bottom of uh, street trees. Uh, we wanted to understand the presence of uh, vegetation around the uh, train station of Bercy because uh, the trains can bring actually seeds from many regions in France and this disseminates the seeds uh, from the station through the other blocks around. The Bercy station area is very rich in street trees with bottoms that may uh, receive seeds from species coming from all over France. We uh, studied 1,500 uh, trees in the uh, area. They belong to the 100,000 trees that can be found in Paris. We uh, analyzed the flora at the bottom of those 1,500 trees uh, every year since 2009. On this map, each black dot is a uh, tree that was uh, analyzed every year since 2009. What the study revealed was that there are a number of uh, species growing at the bottom uh, of trees, all the more if there is room available Obviously, many species, uh, when the bottom of the tree is easily accessible, less if there is a grid with or without holes, and very few species uh, if uh, the uh, bottom of the tree was covered in concrete or sand. The species found in the uh, area of the Bercy station number 250 
found in the 1,500 tree bottoms. We have uh, dandelion, knotweed, uh, wild barley, etc., as being the most uh, frequently found. And each of these uh, species uh, are distributed in a given way. We wanted to understand the dynamic. It's a dynamic, dynamic that of the so-called Japanese steppe, meaning that the populations migrate from one year to the next, from the bottom of one tree to the next uh, tree, or is this a rather like a continent and island pattern? The station is the continent, and it sends seeds to all the trees uh, around, and therefore progression is not made from one tree to another, but rather from the central continent to the surrounding islands. The plants with the heaviest seeds, like the wild barley or the amurinum, function according to the Japanese step model. Seeds are sent from one tree to the next year after year, and we see the species moving across town, jumping from one tree to the next. For the other species with lighter seeds, it's the continent island model that is adopted. The Bercy station sends seeds to all the trees trees uh, surrounding the station, therefore all the trees benefit from the rain shower exactly the same way, from the seed shower exactly the same way, sorry. There are also mixed models around the uh, station, the uh, adopted uh, pattern is that of the island and continent, but then from then on the seeds will travel from one tree to another. For instance, lettuce and capsella obey to this model. In conclusion, we see that many animals and the plants live in town, and the way their populations function is managed more or less the same way as in uh, the country and natural environments, except that they have more constraints because of the density of human beings and the activities uh, developed by human beings.